Hi everybody, this is Gat Sat for the Sat Truth. I am uh, recording this while still in Southern California. Today I received some uh, messages and uh, tweets from folks alerting me to some, a nice development out of the University of Chicago, uh, whereby uh, the college sent out to its uh, incoming freshman class of 2020 uh, a letter uh, advising them what the uh, school's policy was regarding trigger warnings and safe spaces and so on. And as many of you know who follow my work, I've been intimately involved in speaking out against uh, these trends. And so I thought what I would do uh, is read the letter because it is a, a wonderful letter in that it uh, clearly tries to uh, set the pendulum swinging in the right direction away from irrational lunacy and back to what a university should be, namely a place where ideas are exchanged and sometimes uh, being exposed to ideas that we may disagree with. That's how we learn. So anyway, so I'd like to read you the letter verbatim. So here we go. This is from uh, John J. Ellison, PhD, Dean of Students in the College. This is again from the University of Chicago. So here we go. Wonderful letter. Dear class of 2020 student, Welcome and congratulations on your acceptance to the college uh, at the University of Chicago. Earning a place in our community of scholars is no small achievement, and we are delighted that you selected Chicago to continue your intellectual journey. Once here, you will discover that one of the University of Chicago's defining characteristics is our commitment to freedom of inquiry and expression. This is captured in the university's faculty report on freedom of expression, Member of our community are encouraged to speak, write, listen, challenge, and learn without fear of censorship. Civility and mutual respect are vital to all of us, and freedom of expression does not mean the freedom to harass or threaten others. You will find that we expect members of our community to be engaged in rigorous debate, discussion, and even disagreement. At times, this may challenge you and even cause discomfort. Our commitment to academic freedom means that we do not support so-called, quote, trigger warnings. We do not cancel invited speakers because their topics might prove controversial. And we do not condone the creation of intellectual safe spaces, quote, safe spaces, where individuals can retreat from ideas and perspectives at odds with their own. Fostering the free exchange of ideas reinforces a related university priority, building a campus that welcomes people of all backgrounds. Diversity of opinion and background is a fundamental strength of our community. The members of our community must have the freedom to espouse and explore a wide range of ideas. I am enclosing a short monograph by Dean John W. Boyer, the Martin A. Ryerson Distinguished Service Professor in History and Dean of the College, which provides a helpful primer. This monograph, entitled Academic Freedom and the Modern University, the experience of the University of Chicago recounts the history of debate and even scandal resulting from our commitment to academic freedom. If you are interested in some of the source material mentioned in Dean Boyer's book, you can find links to the important reports, example, the Calvin Report, the Stone Report, etc., at the website maintained by our university provost at http colon slash slash free expression period uchicago period edu slash period. Again, welcome to the University of Chicago. See you in September. Sincerely, Jay. This is John Jay Ellison, uh, the Dean of Students in the College. A fantastic letter, a letter that sets uh, the expectations uh, for the incoming students. No more snowflaking, no more being afraid to hear ideas that you don't like or that don't agree with your uh, starting uh, belief system. Uh, this is what university should be, a free, open, respectful exchange of ideas. So kudos to the University of Chicago uh, for hopefully starting a trend that will now uh, begin the domino effect so that all of these dreadful movements like trigger warnings and safe spaces and microaggressions and so on uh, become nothing more but a ugly uh, little uh, bleep in uh, the history of pedagogy. So there you have it, folks. I'll be back uh, to Montreal next week. 
Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, while in California, I appeared on uh, the Ruben Report again and also on the Joe Rogan uh, podcast. So if you haven't checked those out, uh, please uh, consider doing so. I uh, had a lot of fun on the shows. So there you go, folks. Again, congratulations to University of Chicago for standing for uh, what an ideal uh, university should strive to be, and namely a place for the free exchange of ideas. Cheers, guys. And thanks again to all those who alerted me to the uh, great news today. Cheers.